I think it's really good to spell it out. The World Conference of International Telecommunications. It's very important to realize that our current communications, be it telephony, be it the internet, be it broadband, be it mobile, is all underpinned by a global infrastructure that makes it all happen. So this conference is all about the fact that also with all the new services that we are having and all the social and economic benefits that we are retrieving from that, that this infrastructure is paramount, that this infrastructure remains the way it is. Also very important is, of course, that over the last 10 years in particular, it are the developing countries that have come on board. Massive scale, 60% of Africans are, on, are on, on the mobile phones at the moment. So there is increasingly interest, of course, from the developing world to also be part of it and also play a role in this whole new environment of uh, the new services of telecommunications. I think you know what has happened is that suddenly everybody is interested in what's happening with telecommunications. You know, it's no longer just making a telephone call, it are the applications, the services. It is critical infrastructure for the social and economic benefits, e-health, tele-education, smart grids, they all have to do with this new environment. And obviously there are lots of issues there, there's relations in relation to the democratization of uh, organizations, of businesses, uh, the freedom of speech, uh, all these elements are becoming part of it. So you get a large variety of people that are all coming on board and all wanted to, to talk about the internet. They not necessarily want to talk about the basic infrastructure underneath, but for them there's not a lot of difference. For them these are the issues. And these issues are now thrown into this conference. And at the same time, this conference will only address the more technical issues and the regulatory issues rather than the services. But I think this, this uh, conference is a fantastic opportunity to bring lots of these people together and start finding out what's the best way forward in, in like a multi-stakeholder sort of organization where all these organizations that have an, is an interest in these new developments can share and can work together in making sure that not only the infrastructure but everything that happens on top of it has really an international character and is safe for everybody who's using it. I think first of all, uh, over the last 10-15 uh, years, uh, we've seen a shift from the telecommunications elements to uh, the new developments, the new media, digital economy. So all of these things, of course, are co rather difficult for making a telephone call. So the underlying infrastructure, of course, is now for a very large percentage used by these new services rather than by the traditional telecommunication services. If we start talking about broadband, if we start talking about video-based uh, communication, everybody understands that this requires an enormous amount of capacity, that is the, the configuration of the network will have to be able to cope with that. It has, it has to stay affordable, and otherwise you know, people are not using it. It needs the capacity in order to do all these new services. And that is where there are, there are differences. Now people are going to say, what is actually uh, telecommunications? What are content services? What is national? Uh, what needs to be re regulated nationally? What internationally? You know, some of the countries, of course, have problems with certain information that's go gone over the, over the internet and want to have more control over that. You know, we live in an organization where there are many different opinions, where there are many different ideas about how to do it. The ITU and, 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 uh, and the World Conference is an ideal opportunity to talk about these things, but obviously there will be different of difference in opinions, and that are the sort of things that will come to the table uh, here at this conference. I think the good thing is, and the fact that there's such a lot of discussion going around this conference, is that ordinary people are very much aware of the internet, of broadband, and all the issues that, that are related to that. They, it's so important, communication is so important for them that they want to have this reliability, that they want to have the security, that all of these elements that telecommunications provide are going to be continued to, to provide. Now the ordinary citizen doesn't know what the, uh, what the infrastructure underneath is all about. And they don't think twice about the fact that you can make a telephone call here in Dubai and somebody in Timbuktu picks, uh, picks the telephone up, or you know you send a file, an internet file, from one place to another. Nobody thinks twice about it, but obviously there's a huge infrastructure behind it. So I think that it's not too difficult message to uh, the public to actually say in order to make sure that all of this maintains and, and continues, the world has to work together on making sure that the infrastructure is going to be sound, is going to be um, affordable, secure, private, 
all of these things that people are, uh, are, are very concerned about, yeah? and I think we as an industry have the absolutely uh, the, the, the responsibility to ensure that that sort of um, uh, elements of the telecommunications network are going to be carried forward with all these new things that are happening. The major obstacles uh, of uh, the conference is actually that people will have to sit together, listen to each other, talk, to, uh, talk with each other and start sorting out the issues and also try to separate what are the real technical issues and what are the political issues, the cultural issues and all these other issues that also are very important but not necessarily the key focus of this particular conference. Then we should focus first on the key elements of this conference, which is the technical infrastructure, the regulatory environment in which we, we operate that, that network. And once again, that are issues that have to underpin the new the, the services that are going forward. Broadband, internet, mobile broadband, things like that. These are the key issues. We need to secure that. And once again, also very important are the international elements. We need to make sure that the same services are available in Africa and Asia as they are in the Western world. So that are the sort of key issues that need to be addressed. Separately from that, I think we have a responsibility and listening to what's happening outside in the world that we need to address the issues, the softer issues of the internet, the governance, the political, the cultural ones, and that we have to come up with some sort of an idea with a multi-stakeholder uh, and in a multi-stakeholder environment on how we're going to address these issues. Are we going to give them a hand to actually start uh, working towards that particular future as well?